There were funerals in Louisiana for the two young women killed in the Lafayette theater shooting. 21-year-old Macy Bro was remembered for her kindness and her characteristic smile. Jillian Johnson, who was 33, has been praised as a model of a life well lived. Nine others were wounded last Thursday evening, and David Begnow has the latest on the investigation. This was 59-year-old John Hauser in his final days. Surveillance tape obtained only by CBS News shows him smiling and walking casually around a Motel 6. That's Hauser's Lincoln Town car pulling out of the motel on Thursday evening at 6.41 p.m. 60 minutes later, he opened fire inside the Grand Theater. Why did he pick that? What snapped? Louisiana State Police Superintendent Michael Edmondson says investigators are now retracing Hauser's steps. His motel room was strewn with liquor bottles and notes about showtimes for the movie Trainwreck. Authorities now believe the gunman had cased other theaters across South Louisiana. In a disguise, in a wig in, in Baton Rouge, because somebody said we saw him and we felt so uncomfortable, he, we left. Uh, officers are going in. Uh, Lead Detective uh, Stephen Baja believes Hauser did not plan to kill himself. He showed us where the gunman parked his car, evidence, he says, of an escape plan. That he'd staged his keys in such a manner that he wouldn't have had to dig them out of his pocket. He could the have key just, was on top of the tire. On top of the tire, that he could have just grabbed them and jumped in the car and, and taken off. Before Hauser turned the gun on himself, he fired 14 shots in just minutes. When I looked down the barrel when he was shooting my row, I was like, this is for real. 41-year-old Nicole Zamet Fusilier was not hit, but the mother of three ran for her life covered in the blood of the victims she tried to help. In a startling coincidence, one of the first EMTs on the scene was Caitlin Pettijan, Nicole's younger sister. Caitlin saw Nicole, but didn't have time to stop and check on her. Like I had a reaction, but like I didn't have an emotion. Like I just kind of built a wall. Why? Because I was there for my job. And I had one job that I needed to do. Caitlin transported three of the nine gunshot victims to a local hospital, which is just two minutes down the road. Scott, all nine victims are expected to make a full recovery. David Bignow for us reporting tonight. Thank you so much.